announcer they're saying that DA State pretty much puts the NFL and the Steelers in a spot where they're going to have to do something. He said, uh, he, he's just saying Raffles is getting away with it because there isn't enough evidence. He said the girl's 20 years old, was completely drunk. He said she can't remember half of what happened. So, you know, we can't really. Here, my original partner was here. I guess eight, eight years maybe, something like that. He's uh, selling real estate now. Got married and that kind of stuff. It's sort of funny how things work out. I've got a college degree in economics, and since since I graduated, I worked construction. <laughs> I worked at all kinds of different things. I worked a desk job for a surety company and didn't like sitting behind a desk every day. And anyway, that's how it works out. I ended up selling, making pizzas. Early 90s probably, we, uh, we were doing real well. And, and it stayed, stayed pretty good until um, well, basically the when the bombings hit the Twin Towers there, the economy seemed to really take a dive, and, and it's gotten worse since. You know, it's, so it's apparently until we get out of this recession, until people uh, are working, I don't, I don't think it's going to get too much better. I've had some people that have ordered since we've opened, you know, for 25 years. I don't want him to see him suffer and go under, and because we all know that's all he's got for a living on, and we got, he's getting the retirement age. There's nothing there. Well, see, because Mark, Mark is a close friend of ours. I yeah. mean, you know, we love him to death, and it's, it's hard for us to just watch it go to shit. Well, I think with a little bit of work, he can make it, because that's the best pizza in that area. I mean, it is good pizza. It was better though. Yeah. I mean, he really a lot of it is the cheese. Since he's gotten the pack of cheese, I mean, he used to. Well, the shredded cheese you know, is those seconds. I went, I went to a tour of a cheese factory. Yeah, I remember he, he was um, blending his own grande and uh, provolone and, yep. and straight mozzarella. He's intelligent as fuck anyway. Yes, he is. He, he is. can do your fucking uh, crossword puzzles, and Marx is extremely intelligent. He's probably borderline genius. Yeah, never did anything with his education, though. Yeah. recipe for uh, the dough, which <clears throat> uh, there's garlic in it and some cinnamon and there's more, there's a lot of flavor in the, just in the dough itself. Well, I make all my own spices, like the spice for, uh, that I spice the pork with, the Italian sausage, I just buy, you know, sausage and then I add the spices to it. I also make the spices for uh, the pizza sauce. You know, I buy puree and different sauces and spice it up. No, I, I don't know anything about computers at all. Um, actually, the owner of the building, Chet, who is retired now, but he, he worked in the computer industry his whole life, he, he actually... Uh, put a website up for me. Uh, I, you know, I don't have a computer, I've never seen it, but he, I'm a little too old to learn, learn all that stuff. You know, pizza. Sales pitch. Salesman recording. Extremely difficult just keeping the doors open. I mean, I used, I had a pretty good uh, nest egg saved, but that's over the last eight years or whatever. With 
the economy being bad, that's gone. So it's, it's just been a real struggle, just paying the bills, paying the rent, keeping open.